Hi, I'm Chris Walker with ELEC, and today we're here demonstrating one of our newest uh, products, the Element Series Integrated Amplifier. This is the first integrated amplifier from ELAC in uh, probably over 50 years. It's a very small design, and it's very unique in a bunch of different ways. In its heart, it is a traditional integrated amplifier. It has a preamplifier, it has a lot of inputs, amplification. Um, how we've done things quite a bit differently, if you take a look at it. Um, first of all, it has a small OEL display on the front. It's got a very powerful bash amplifier, which is basically a class AB amplifier driven by a class D amplifier, which means that the power supply monitors the incoming signal and adjusts how much voltage is necessary, plus a little headroom, to deliver the voltage to the rails to be able to produce the music. It means it's going to be very efficient and it delivers power when it's necessary and doesn't waste any of it. The other unique part about it is that it has uh, seven sets of inputs, two analog, three digital, a USB synchronous input, as well as Bluetooth with Aptex. But we've also included a, um, a Bluetooth low energy radio allowing you to communicate with it with an app for your phone or your tablet. We also have a very powerful DSP built inside the unit and that allows us to do a lot of very unique features normally not found on two channel gear. First of all, it actually has a sub output and not a traditional sub output to where you're going to set a low pass filter and then uh, have to have full range music to your main speakers as well as the low pass going to the sub before you're not going to get any increase in volume. What we've done here, the DSP, we've actually built in room EQ and a really cool feature called Auto Blend, which actually will automatically blend your main speakers with your subwoofer and then we'll apply room EQ. I have an example of the application here. This is running on a, a Samsung Galaxy tablet. I start the Auto Blend feature set. It's going to ask you to have a subwoofer. You don't have a subwoofer, it goes right to the room EQ setup. We'll choose yes. And here you're actually going to set what your high pass is going to be to your main speakers. You can choose three different presets or you can go to advanced and you can actually go through and choose exactly what you want it to be. But we'll go back to basic and choose for these speakers 80 hertz. Now it's going to ask you for your name of the speakers and the, the model number, uh, the, the speakers and the subwoofer. This isn't important for a technical reason, it just makes a really nice chart at the end of this when you're done with this and you can post the results on Facebook and on our website. We'll choose start. Now the first thing it's going to ask you to do it here is we are going to measure the near field response of our main speakers. We're going to come over here and doing a near field response of the speakers is very critical because now we're measuring the speaker's performance without the influence of the room. And you can see here at the bottom the response of the speaker in the near field. Now it's going to ask us to do the same thing with the subwoofer. And we'll take it down near the subwoofer in the near field as well and do that as well. So based on the two near field measurement, it's calculated exactly what the curve, the target curve is going to be based on your particular speakers. Now there's much more to this than just the near field response of both. So we've set high pass filters and low pass filters, but we have to be concerned about phase as well because the subwoofer could be several feet away from the main speakers. We have a very unique feature here that what we'll do now is we'll adjust phase. So choosing the next go command, you do this from the listening position. We are going to start adjusting the phase of the subwoofer in 10 degree increments while monitoring what's in the uh, subwoofer crossover region. We'll find the phase setting that's actually going to blend the main speakers of the subwoofer uh, absolutely to the optimal performance. This will go all the way to 180 degrees. This process takes a good uh, 75 seconds or so.